Miss Golden Girl here, and I'm going to have a cup of tea tonight. I bought this tea last week when I went grocery shopping on Thursday, so it's been one week, and I haven't made any tea. So I'm going to have a cup of tea. Stay tuned. I'll be back to share with you how my journey, my shopping Grocery shopping went today. Okay, here's the grocery list. As you can see how I did. Lemons, I got a, a two pound bag for $4.99. So that's six lemons in that bag. The water. I looked all over for the water inside the store. So finally when I asked someone, they said it's up front, across from the registers. So I guess you have to get your water at this Kroger's before you, well, I guess it's the way I came into the store. So I miss seeing that. So I'm going back on Saturday to get the water and hopefully the Girl Scouts will be out there and I can get me a couple boxes of Girl Scout cookies. Um, I do monitor my blood glucose. I am doing really well with it. I am blessed that I can eat any, pretty much what I want to in moderation. Uh, I'm going to an endocrinologist, but my numbers were so good the last time. He said I didn't have to come back for six months. I ended up scheduling it a little shorter than six months because of plans that I had. Uh, so I got to get the water. I got ground beef. I got three, I got two pounds. I got two one pound packages. They were three ninety nine each per pound. Um, hopefully it tastes good. It's been a while since I actually bought meat from Kroger's. Uh, I'm like my ground beef, 85, 15%. So that's what it was. I ended up getting a 10 pound bag of potatoes. And I'm going to talk to you about that a little later in the video. I ended up getting that 10 pound bag, $3.99. So that's cheaper than a five pound bag. Sweet potatoes, I ended up getting a four count and already packaged up for $3.99. Got some hamburger buns for $1.99. I found the Sloppy Joe mix, and I decided to pick up salad mix, and that cost me $3.19. I got the spring mix this time. So I'll be back. Okay, now here's the 10 pounds bag of potatoes. I like the way they look. I like the way they're shaped. So what I'm going to do is... I am, I got four more weeks to be here in Nashville. And so I'm going to allow, I think, two potatoes a week. So I'm going to count out eight potatoes and then I'm going to share the rest with my two cousins. I don't want these potatoes to go bad. And you, uh, it's very hard to put a 10-pound bag of potatoes in the refrigerator. It takes up too much space. I, I put, I store my potatoes in the refrigerator because I don't use them that fast. Now, this is the sweet potatoes. And this was a package, already packaged up. For what I could see, they look better than the single ones I had picked up, found one single one that I liked, and it was $1.19 a pound, and that one potato was maybe three-fourths of a pound. So I thought this was a better buy. Hold on, I'm going to open these up, and hopefully they're good. Okay, these sweet potatoes look really good. They're the right size that I like my sweet potatoes. I don't like them too big uh, because 
my experience has been if they're too big, thick, and everything, they're not as sweet. So uh, these are good. So what I'm going to do, I uh, have a, a baked uh, bake sweet potato for one for each of the next four weeks. So this is going to be a good deal. Sweet potatoes are good for me. And so uh, I'm going to have one over the, for the, each of the next four weeks. Okay. I ended up getting one banana. The bananas was 49 cents a pound. I bought some um, Frosty Flakes and I last week when I went grocery shopping and a can of pet milk, I'm lactose so I can um, drink, I don't actually drink it but I use it in cooking and my cereal. So I had a taste for some Frosty Flakes. You know, um, moderation again. So I have the Frosty Flakes, and so I've eaten some this past week. I had some milk left, pet milk. I didn't want to go to waste, so I wanted to do one more bowl of um, Frosty Flakes, banana, and the pet milk before I let that go, and I won't have that again for another four or five months. That's my comfort eating. Those kind of cereals are not on the healthy food list, but it's on my comfort food list. Um, this is my baby spring mix that I got. I decided uh, to go on and get salad mix for this week also. So I got uh, a couple uh, vine ripe tomatoes and I this time I was able to find a three pound bag of onions. So this is my lemons. Now what I'm doing, since I've been here in Nashville, I haven't been doing my water, uh, apple cider vinegar water routine. So what I did earlier in the week, I, um, did lemon water a couple days. I had two lemons. So that worked really well. Um, it's my sinus that, that apple cider vinegar, water, and lemon juice helps. So, you know, I'm in a different climate. I've been doing pretty good with my sinuses. Um, I felt some pressure a couple weeks ago and what I did is I just took some aloe vera and I rubbed it across my forehead and on my temples and that helped me. Alright, so One thing about this baby spring mix, you know, they say I need green leafy vegetables every day, so that'll work. Finally, I was able to find my Sloppy Joe mix. I like this Sloppy Joe mix by McCormick. So last week when I was shopping, as I shared before, I got my tomato paste. I was working my way towards getting all the ingredients for Sloppy Joe, but I couldn't find the mix, so I didn't get any more fixing. So this week, when I went grocery shopping here on Thursday, I got the ground beef. As you can see, it's the 8515, that's what I like. And with my Kroger's card, I got it for $3.99. Uh, there's eight hamburger buns in here. So what I did is I will use four of the hamburger buns for the Sloppy Joe. I can get about four Sloppy Joes out of the uh, one pound 
of ground beef. So I bought another package, a second package of the ground beef in preparation for the following week. I'm going to do hamburgers. And so I like mixing this lifting onion soup mix in the hamburger mix, in the ground beef to make hamburger patties. So I'm planning ahead. Got eight hamburger buns. I'm going to use four for this upcoming week. Well, really, I'm making a Sloppy Joe Friday. So Friday to Thursday is my food week since I'm shopping on Thursday. So, okay. So then the next week, the hamburger buns, I keep them in the refrigerator so they still be good. And then I can have four <laughs> for the hamburger. Uh, I should be able to get four hamburger patties out of that one pound ground beef. You know, they won't be all that big, but they'll fit this hamburger buns. So I'm planning, trying to be frugal in my shopping, trying to uh, track my food expense to see if my allocated amount of $105 a week for food is durable. I went on and I sweetened my tea with some sugar. Not as much as I would have put in the past, but I don't drink hot tea that often. But when I do, I allow myself to sweeten it. Last year, I had to be, you know, very, very strict with my diet in order to get my blood glucose under control. But it is under control now, and so um, I can have some sugar in my tea. This bag of sugar will travel with me to South Dakota. <laughs> so these are some grocery items that went on the grocery list, but I found them at the store, so I picked them up. I like to have tuna fish once a week and salmon once a week, that omega-3. So I like sandwich spread, and sandwich spread is hard to find nowadays. You can't always walk in every store and it has it. But Kroger's had it today. For some reason, sweet pickles were hard to find too lately. So I like to mix sweet relish and sweet pickles in with my um, tuna fish, and I eat it with crackers. I don't like tuna fish on bread. All right, now here is a vegetable that I'm going to have in the next week or two. I want some succotash. And that's corn mixed with some lima beans. Now this will really spike my blood glucose. So on the day when I have this, I'm going to make sure it is a fasting uh, uh, yeah, an intermittent fasting day, anywhere between 18 and 20 hours. So my blood glucose will need way down under 100, possibly somewhere between 70 and 80. These are beets. Uh, I like beets. And so um, I could eat beets weekly. I had beets... Uh, this week so i've got this can of beets that i'm going to have for this up and coming week so these are some items that were weren't on the grocery list but you know i they're at the grocery store and i found them <laughs> 